Hi everyone, it's Emily and it is Wednesday again and you're watching Wednesdays with Emily on Five Awesome Musicians. Let's see if I can make it. Five Awesome Musicians. Oh no, computer. <laughs> I'm coming to you from my bed. This is my pillows. And because I'm really tired, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> um, and I'm tired because I went to an audition today uh, for another production of Legally Blonde. It was a callback audition. It was called back for Paulette, Vivian, Enid, and the trio. Painted my nails for Paulette. She would probably wear trashy red, right? I think it went really well. Um, I don't know by 5 p.m. today, Wednesday. Um, and then I, maybe I'll post it on Five Awesome Musicians so that you guys know. Um, and so this weekend was the weekend of a Christmas Carol in concert that I've been talking about so much. It took place at the North Shore Center for the Performing Arts in Skokie, um, and it was taped for PBS. There were tons of cameras there. Um, it's going to air sometime December. We don't know yet. I think I had told you guys it was going to be December 14th, but I think they're going to change that. They're just working out contracts and stuff. I don't know. But it was a blast. It was two very long days of shooting. We did um, two shows on, on the Sunday and one show on Saturday. One of those shows was in front of an audience and two were not. Um, I got to meet some really great um, professional actors and singers. Got a lot of, um, a lot of good advice from them. Uh, it was really neat. Um, and I'm friends with them on Facebook now. So it was a ton of fun and I got to put a TV credit on my Legally Blonde resume. This week, we are at number four for Emily's top 15 90s hip-hop hits. It's number four already. Um, and this week, number four is Now That We Found Love by Heavy D. I love this song. This song is a very personal choice because I have three other friends who I think one day we just all decided that this was like our anthem. So every time it comes on on the radio, I always listen to the 90s station. Every time it comes on, I crank it up in the car and everyone probably thinks I'm weird. I do have a random question for um, either you other four musicians or anyone else who watches. I'm wondering if anyone out there still watches Smash because I believe the episode that aired last Saturday was their finale and I guess I'm wondering, I don't know, do you have thoughts on Smash? I know we all know those of us who watch it is, is going to get canceled. It wasn't doing well in its time slot, which I believe was on Tuesdays. Um, so they moved it to Saturday at like 8. Awful. But I really wanted to root for it because as someone in the theater community, I love that they had a show where they used actual Broadway actors, actually actual New York actors. And I really liked that a lot of that world got exposed to to you know, to primetime television. And, you know, I'm just really sick of shows like Glee who have just turned, you know, it's, it's just Disneyland now, you know. Did you root for it? I mean, did you, do you, did you stop watching? Um, do you have opinions on it? I don't know. I'm just, I've always wondered who out there watches that stuff. That's all for me this week. I have this week of class, next week of class, and then I have finals week, which I only have one final. It's a voice jury. And then I will be free to, gosh, do sleep, <laughs> sleep. Good luck to all of you who are in finals week down at U of I. I hope you guys are doing fantastically. And if you're graduating on Saturday and Sunday, happy graduation day. Um, it's Wednesday. Have a glass of wine.